Well, folks, it's been a little while, but it has finally arrived. A piece of cardboard. How do you like that? Now, this is something that people have been asking about for quite a while. The Scalchion, made by Matt and Ilya of the That Works channel. We shall tear it open and look at it. It's not an unboxing as such because I've already safely disposed of the box and you know, taken this out and washed my hands. I don't you know all the all the shenanigans that have been going on. And uh, yeah, so we shall take a look. Of course, something handmade takes a while if you want to do it well, which they most certainly did. And um, there was also additional delay because Canada Post expected me to pay import fee on it, but they didn't tell me. <laughs> I, I didn't get anything. I didn't get an email or, or notification in the mail or anything. So I had to check the tracking information through the, the number that they gave me. And uh, yeah, it was stuck in some place for quite a while. And uh, then I paid it and then if they finally were able to What is... Are these bunny slippers? Wow, that is wrapped really tightly. Uh, <laughs> okay, I've, I've received a lot of packages over the years, but that's a first. <laughs> that is freaking hilarious, I love it. I mean, it makes sense. They're, they're fluffy and everything. They're definitely good for padding. Are those actually, no, are they dogs? They, it might be dogs, actually. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's good stuff. So let us slowly and dramatically and meticulously unwrap it to increase the tension even more. Oh, oh boy, look at that. Mmm. There's something really aesthetically pleasing about black and steel. And then you've got the contrast of the black and copper wire. Oh yeah. There we go. Damn. That is a pretty blade. That is a pretty thing overall. Wow. Look at that. Look at all the detail on this. Now, I've, I've watched all the videos that they made about the, the process of shaping it and everything, forging it and grinding it and putting it together. But still, seeing it in person is, is something else. I really don't know what I can say to thank the two of you, Matt and Ilya. This is just, this is really a great honor to get something that, that has this much time and effort put into it. Thank you so much. That, that, that's, really, that's really all I can say. This is, this is amazing work. This is so freaking nice. Ooh, oh, check out that edge. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, this, this should cut quite well. In fact, I've already prepared tatami mats for today, so we'll get to it in just a moment. Man, that is really well shaped. I like the color of the steel. It's a lot darker than most other blades that I've had so far. And that together with, with the blackened hilt, there's so much intricate detail on this. The original Venetian falchion that they picked was definitely ambitious. I would say it's such a refined design. Like this is this is really crazy. By the way, if you're one of the few people who haven't seen this yet or don't know that works, I'll put the link down below. Definitely go there, check out the channel. Matt and Ilya are doing really great work. And there's a lot of making off videos and they're extremely skilled, if you can't tell. I feel like I can appreciate it even more now that I have the space to uh, do some tinkering myself uh, in my amateurish ways. 
Now, just, if you if you try to draw it yourself, you just find out pretty quickly that everything is way harder than it looks. Way harder. So it requires a lot of skill. I'm humbled and honored and let's just try it out. All right, dry handling it. This is probably the heaviest fashion I've had so far from what I remember. So it should have a lot of cutting power. Standard downward cut, nothing fancy. Yep. <laughs> That'll do it. All right. Oh yeah. It's very sharp. And I can tell that the the weight actually helps drive it through the target. <laughs> Whenever I do this pause in between, that's because I take a moment to figure out how good was the cut. Because I want to decide first, was it a good cut before I followed up with something else? Otherwise, it's too easy to just go, bleh, 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 bleh. you know, it's terrible edge alignment, just keep flailing. But that's just for practice. Of course, in a fight, you wouldn't be like, hmm, was that good? I mean, okay. <laughs> nice. Grammar is a funny thing. Articles really matter. There's a big difference between I'm cutting a mat and I'm cutting mat. <laughs> right, Matt? Whoa. Damn, that was smooth. That was smooth. And look how this basically wasn't even staked at all. This was a horrible job, yet it still made it through. That is very impressive, especially for a single-handed sword. On the video I made about the Principe, one person asked does it cut as well as a falchion? Or would a falchion cut better? Something like that. And the thing is, generally, unless you have a drastic difference between blade shapes, like say this versus an, an extremely strongly tapered, narrow longsword blade, yeah, this, this would cut better. But with, this, with a similar blade, two-handed is always going to be better than, than single-handed because you get that extra extra control over it. I don't know if I can... I probably can't really use this effectively with two hands. Well, maybe if I... if I finger the guard. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see that? Like this? This already. It cut really well before, but with two hands... I can make it stupid smooth. Yep. What? That was a cut that I totally messed up. At least it felt like it. Yet it cut almost all the way through. Hot oh, damn. Don't worry, I'm not gonna mercilessly abuse this sword. It's just too pretty. But this shouldn't be too difficult for it. Nice. Well, that works, wink, wink. So there we are. It's pretty, but it's also a beast. Lots of oomph in the cut. And man, that is a wicked edge that you put on. That's, I'm very impressed by that. And I don't say that lightly because I have high standards, but yeah, this is, this is crazy sharp. So does the job is an understatement. It's not a particularly nimble sword, but it's got raw power. I'm also interested in these teeth, nubs, I don't know what the technical term for that would be, on the spine here. It might just be decorative, but I have a feeling that this may actually serve a, a practical 
function. Because if you, if you bind with the spine of the blade, you may actually be able to pull on the opponent's blade or as you knock it aside, this may trap it better. Or, you know, if you intercept a cut with a rising cut with a, with a spine, I can imagine that could work. The only, well, I was gonna say the only drawback is this might act as a bit of a stop in the thrust, but then again, it's a wide blade. This is not, it's not going to penetrate as far as a rapier, for example. But with enough force, this might actually be rather nasty on the way back out. Anyway, so yeah, that's a beautiful falchion expertly made. Today the lighting changes more quickly than the charts in the 90s. Look at this crap. Thanks again, Matt. Thanks, Ilya. You two are awesome. Highly appreciated. Hope everybody has enjoyed it, and uh, most likely not going to be the last you see of this. Guaranteed. So, have a good one, folks. Thanks for watching.